Hello, everyone out there in Internet land. This is Chris Spizak. I'm Scott Watson. And I'm Russ Beckman. We got another one of our fantastic videos from our Thursday Night Battlegrounds at uh, Legion's Games in Pittsburgh. Come out and join us. Bring some fancy new deck, and you'll be, we'll be happy to show it off to the world. the world. We have to add our fourth commentator in here, too. Hold on. Well, you're here because you want to watch delightful WoW TCG messages, uh, WoW TCG games, Yoda. Yes. Thanks for that inspiring message. All right. So on on the, on the left we have Charles Dunn playing uh, Monster Hunter. I believe the proper name is. Yeah, it might be the proper name. The right we got Matt Murray playing Red Mage from the starter deck, whose name I can't remember. So it's a goblin name. So we can assume there's an X in there at some point, maybe yeah. a Z. Possibly. Uh, Frisnik, Frasnik. Frasnik. Kind of, kind of, probably has a magical sounding name too. Yeah, Jiznix. For sizzle. Jazz. Oh, yeah. Well, Snoop Dogg, little known mm-hmm. fact, is a goblin. Yeah. Um, most people are unaware of that. In fact, um, yeah, he when you're when he's like faux shizzle my nizzle, <laughs> that's actually he's you know, ta- he's just much. talking goblinese. Yeah, he's doing. He's it. you know he's talking about family relations of some kind. I'm sure. Yeah, and he's just he, every time he says four CZ, he's just mentioning his brother. <laughs> we have. <laughs> I don't know what to say that. Uh, you had to have to say that. We got we got some dice rolling. Uh, I didn't see who won the dice roll. I think uh, that Gurgle Merle did there, but um. Do you like that hero over the the other horde he, uh, mage available? I don't think there's any reason he's the goblin, so, unless because he has the flip uh, pay four on your turn draw two. Yeah, keeper. You like that by the monster hunter. Oh yeah, well there's a keeper Sharas. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I would never try to keeper Sharas on turn one. Well, he was lucky because the mage. Well, maybe not so lucky because the mage just dashed a card and passed. I feel like against a mage deck, you got to hold that guy. Because they run Flame Lance, they run Savagin, they run all sorts of cards that just kill him. Like, I feel like he really he really should not have played that immediately there. Oh my god, he set up so, so, many, so, so much um, Harmonize. Yeah, he has two Harmonize on the board on turn two. That seems good. I mean, we're going to see if it stays on the board. I, I can't really see Jim's hand. I think I see a frost blast. Is the Not Jim, it's Matt. Matt, sorry. Yeah. Matt. Yeah, Jim was playing the deck that completely killed me. So that might That's probably in our other videos. I think he just tried to attack an elusive guy. Yeah, no? that, that is... Can't happen. That is a no-no. That is a no-no. No-no pain. If he has a flame lance, he can flame lance keeper Balos and then run the card token in and kill it. If he doesn't have a flame lance, he's in some trouble. You have to flame lance that yeah. guy, man. The, the token play. won in the Balos, and now yeah. his hero was assault one. Is not, is not having assault one. Okay. Let's see if Charles actually has a uh, a dude to harmonize out. Apparently, yeah. Uh, that's a Remulus. Okay, the turn two, the turn three Remulus for two resources seem pretty good. And now he gets to row and play another four drop. Yeah, that seems that seems what we call fine. Oh man, the turn three Yurtle. That Yurtle does not have a big butt. It's a it's a four three though, like it's protector. And he has another four. Yeah, that's not a good field for the mage player there. Oh yeah, it's a perfect field. They love fields like that. Fields of turtles, I mean, you know. Yurtles and turtles. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, he's frost blasting here. For two. Do you think he should? Uh he's got to put spread that damage out. To hopefully, draw a tim rib at this point. But, I mean, he frostbusted a guy that does one damage and a guy that does zero damage. I guess he's I mean, afraid of the harmonize. I mean, he's not hes not doing anything to him this turn if it was the Tim Riv. 
Oh, uh, he has the Baxton, I guess. But I mean, like, he could have frost blasted Yurtle. Uh, like, and next turn, this turn, turn three, he could have frost blasted three guys, not gotten hit. He could have just sort of slowed the game down, which I think is much, way in his favor. Uh, I mean, maybe he's afraid that the Hunter has is like the infinite combo harmonized deck, but he should know that it's a lot, lot. It's actually, I believe, it's almost impossible to do in outside of Horde. So I'm not real sure why he did that. I guess. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. And now Charles can row and play that bow, and then. Kill Baxton from long range. Come on. Is that bow? I can't. Yeah. I can't remember if the bow costs three or four. It costs three. It's a three-cost bow that you know would have allowed him to not put any damage on your at all. It costs one to swing. See? Yeah. Instead, he swung into the yeah. hero for one. I, he I, his, he should have played the bow and attacked Baxton. And then have all his dudes go after the hero, and then yeah, flip, the and then flip. And the oh yes, flip, and flip. Yeah, and then the flip right. really doesn't really do anything in his deck for the most hey, part. Well, I mean, it will, it will with it's like I think he has like what's what's this ally in hand he has? Like uh, Alakir or something? I don't. I couldn't see it. He has some dumb ally in hand, which is why he he went for the bow. And if he had been able to flip, I think he would have just ended the game this this coming turn. Because combo makes the guys two cheaper, and harmonize would make him another one cheaper, so he would be able to pay four resources and just play the Alakir from hand. The flip doesn't give it ferocity, though. Right. It's only monsters. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. But yeah, that is an Alakir in his hand, which at the moment he can bring out with just four resources. Because he has one harmonize and minus two on the bow, so things are not looking good for our mage fellow over here on the right. It's like he's stuck between a rock, a hard place, another rock, three more hard places, and a fourth bigger rock. That's a lot of rocks. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I mean, like this is this is what I meant when I I thought that he kind of wasted the frost blast. It just seems like a late game frost blast for the mage just to buy him another turn is hugely advantageous. Just because he has the ability to play like Ripple Timrith in later turns. We call that the Ripple Rip. The Ripple Rip. Rip the Ripple. Rip Rip? Rip Rip. The yeah. Rip. The the rip the, 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 the the ripple the riv pull. I think we can live with hey, that. Hey, however you want to say it. <laughs> you get too much of that, you uh, you sound like a murloc. Well, it seems like Matt's tanking. Well, he is. Uh, He's gonna kill a tree, and he was thinking about playing that ice barrier first, but that doesn't make any sense because then he leaves that one one tree to sort of come on over. Yeah. And now what does he do? Baxton. Kill the Treant and the Yurt. That's fine. Seems decent. Here comes an armor token. Oh. Oh, wait. No! Oh. He didn't what? shuffle Yurtle into the deck. He did not, He did not. but it doesn't really matter. Yes, it matters. Did you hear me bang the deck? Matters. It matters. Yeah, well, I mean, like, I think he should have, but... It's kind of, he's still in such a good position. Oh, now he's used to eat Baxton with the bow. Yeah, I mean, I guess he learned from the first Baxton. Yeah. And here's Alakir uh, on turn five. And, and he makes out. a token. And at the start of the turn, he makes more tokens. And then, yeah, it's not looking good for Matt. I think he has to play Ice Barrier here just to try and survive. I will survive. Do, 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 do. No, do, I don't do, think do, he will. Do, 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 do. Survive for a turn. How about, like, that Destiny Child song, I'm a Survivor? No, no. no? Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. Okay. 
I was trying to think of more songs with Survivor in the title. Uh, Jesus. You know, really old. Like yeah. Diana Ross and the Supremes, like I Won't Survive. I, I, yeah. <laughs> um, Charles has to read. Tra- Charles hasn't played the game because of uh, school related reasons, but he's still a good player. He, he knows at least read the cards if he doesn't know what they do, so. Uh, this is going to be uh, a hurt train for Matt. And that's a card. Yeah. The fucking... Ugh. The one one token in there. And then... Remy Lowe's and Alakir get rid of the ice barrier. And So what? Like, come on. Like, he could have swung that's there and then play. gotten in with Alakir. No, he couldn't. Yeah. Oh, yes, oh, you're saying can. instead of playing the the thrall? Yes, instead of playing the thrall, which but, doesn't. Like, but if you like, like if you resolve that thrall, what is the mage player going to do? You're pumping out tokens. That makes a token. The allocators pumping out tokens. I mean, None yes, of your allies yes, other than I, thrall. None of your cards other than thrall. I guess your hero technically can die. What is a mage going to do in this situation? Lose. Yeah. Well, They're going to be in the Matt's hand. He had two overloads in his hand, but I guess he decided he couldn't leave open two resources. You know, after after he's looking at a Remulus and Yurtle on turn four, I guess Matt's like, I got to just spend all my resources to try to kill it. No way I can hold back. And now it's just killing you know, it. Well, he had that ice barrier turn. Yeah. Right? Like the ice barrier. And I think if he had an overload there, he should have left open for one. Uh, now Matt's digging for hope. It looks like mana. He popped the mana agate he had, and he played another one and popped it. And uh, I don't think there's any hope. I think all hope is lost here. And there's the handshake. That is the end. And it's gone. <laughs> and the mage's dream is gone. That's. Oh, Matt had three Corkon vanguards. Three. Charles has to read the art. He wants to read what the Mage Shroud does. It's an okay card, I hear. Indubitably. Yes. Yeah. Does Yoda have any final words? Sure. We'll give Yoda's final words. Train yourself to let go. Everything you fear to lose. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow appropriate. Somehow appropriate. Yes. So um, you know the button always comes out appropriate. I don't know how it does it. Yeah. You know, the force, I guess. So I thank everyone out there in internet land for uh, watching. Please rate, leave comments, subscribe, tell your friends, tell more watch of your other friends. Videos. Watch videos. Watch tell your, your enemies. Yeah, tell your enemies. Tell the people who play Magic about this channel. Tell your grandma. Tell everyone. And we, Not the people who play Yu-Gi-Oh, though. Don't, yeah. don't do that. Okay. And they're doing their best. Yeah. And they're doing their best. Well, thank you all again.